It's like you came back and you were a pawn in some game of 4D chess, and I think you found out that iDubs and Anissa don't play games. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Brief update. I am healed from Creator Clash 2. Uh, it was a success. Alex Wasabi beat me up. He, you know, he won his fight fair and square, and I have all the respect for Alex. He's a good competitor, and uh, I have respect for all the other fighters on the Creator Clash card. And thank you to all the fans who came. It was an amazing event. I'm very happy. Very happy, very emotional. Awesome experience. I'll never forget it. Having said all that, you guys are here for the juice and the grease. So I'm going to give you guys the grease and the juice. Uh, and that all has to do with Froggy Fresh. The reason I didn't address any of this sooner is because I was terrified of jeopardizing the success of the event because there are a lot more people involved in this than just Anissa and I. Uh, and I didn't want to fuck it up for them. These are people that I really care about and I felt like it would be very selfish if I was like, I understand public perception right now, guys. I'm just gonna make a quick 10 minute video and I'll squash all the rumors, I'll squash all the beef. I have no idea what public perception for this video is going to be. That's why I'm doing it now, right? Is it, The event is now over with. I can, I can risk it, you know? I can air my grievances and we can see where it goes. I need to bring you guys up to speed on where I'm at as a person and as a content creator. My philosophy for a while was, well, people will figure it out through the videos I make. But the problem is the videos I make, I mean, I sort of avoid speaking from the heart. I'm just gonna focus on a thing, on a piece of content. I, I think I have bad associations with sharing my life uh, on the internet. I'm like, no, that, that shouldn't be my thing. Like, leave that up to the vloggers. But I think it's important to share where I'm at so uh, none of what I'm talking about in this Froggy Fresh video feels like I'm being hypocritical or, uh, you know, I'm misleading you in any way. I think a lot of the content I've made has been irresponsible and misguided. And I think I've hurt a lot of people with the content I've made, uh, you know, despite many people being entertained by it. You know, I'm not trying to take that away from you. If you feel like you've learned important lessons or you have grown as a person because of the content I've made, I don't want to take that away from you. With some good can come a lot of bad. And I think I've done a lot of bad. And, uh, you know, at the bare minimum, I've just put a lot of negativity out there in the world. And I'm working on not doing that. I plan on expanding on all of this in a, a further video. I think there's a lot of content uh, from over the years and some behind the scenes that I'd love to share with you guys. I think it would, it would give clarity to, to where I'm at. But in this video, that's a, probably about all I can say on, on any of it. I don't want to detract from what the focus is. And the focus is kicking Froggy Fresh from the Creator Clash card. The main reason Froggy was kicked from the card was for collaborating with Sam Hyde. And, you know, for anyone who's been following the story, that's, you know, fairly obvious. Uh, Froggy has explained, uh, you know, his side of the story multiple times. And uh, unfortunately, he's been perpetuating a narrative that it's about OnlyFans or that it's about Anissa's mom. And it, that's extremely deceptive because he knows why he was kicked from the card. The one indication I gave him was Sam Hyde, and I, I wasn't unclear about that. Anyone who's mentioning the fact that Harley trained with Sam Hyde for the year previous, uh, that was before Sam was saying this about my wife. I don't think so, Anissa. Bitch. Ho. Fucking Anissa. What an ugly piece of shit. But look, how, look how beat she is. Oh, nice jack-o'-lantern teeth. That's like a I can't wait to see what she looks like when she's... 32. Her teeth look like a like a pumpkin head. Like it's the Anissa Joma hole stretcher. I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. It goes directly into charity. Yeah. Everybody hates him and his wife's a slut. So yeah, now that this guy is on the daily insulting my wife, I think it's pretty fair to you know not want to associate with him in any way. We did ban Sam from the first event, so it's not as if he's confused about where he stands in all this. Uh, I don't like him. And, and Froggy knows that. Froggy knows that I don't like him. Of course, that's why he was banned. You know, none of this is like news to Froggy. Froggy knew all of this going into it. For anyone who's under the impression that Froggy has been like reasonable and chill and respectful uh, through this whole process, he hasn't been. He's been a piece of shit. 
Uh, I'm not happy with how he's behaved. He's talked mad shit about me. Ian doesn't want people who are bigger and more talented than him upstaging him. That's what it is. Anissa. Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. Uh, participants of the event. This is really a lot of weird, tender, soft people. <laughs> Creator Clash people are real like these type of people. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the event itself. This is really like the patty cake league for, for, for like social uh, media boxing. You know? uh, he doesn't like the culture of Creator Clash and he mentioned that. And Chris Raygun and all these people, it's like some big ethot worshiping um, party at these things. And I don't get it. I don't get what all this shit is all about. Like everybody's there to worship ethots or fucking ethot or get or like touching ethots, titty or pussy. Or <laughs> to be honest, I thought it was quite the gift to you that we'd kick you off the card. You have no more obligations and you can immediately just pivot into boxing for misfits. It's like that's the culture that you want. You want the, the non sissy. You want the macho dude traditional boxing culture, so go over there and box for them. You don't even have to miss that many months of training. You, you've been training, so hop on one of those cards. But unfortunately, Froggy doesn't want to hop on one of those cards because he thinks the uh, skill level is too high. Personally, in my opinion, I think the talent at Misfits and Happy Punch is in a different league that is out of my league. Amazing. And then right here is down. You stop. I mean, come on. It goes, it turns quickly from boxing to assault. Just fight someone who's weaker than you. So I'm not, I'm done with boxing. I can fulfill my current obligations. If for some reason creator class changed their mind, I could fulfill my current obligations. I'm not interested in further going further into any other boxing. It just, it's such a fucking cop out that you're like, all right, I'm such a victim for getting kicked off the Creator Clash event when I knew what would get me kicked off the Creator Clash event. And now you're like, I don't want to box anymore. It's like, come on. If you look at my text exchange with Froggy, it's very clear that I didn't want to kick him from the card. I got to the point where I was like, okay, I don't want you working or training with Sam Hyde, but you're doing that. So, all right, I'll look past it. I don't want you making content with Sam Hyde, but it seems like that's a real deal breaker for you, so I guess I'll look past it. It came to the point where I was like, can you postpone releasing content with Sam Hyde? Look, you know me and Sam don't get along. You know, I'm, we put a lot of time and energy in this creator cr clash thing. I don't want it to be about Sam Hyde, so just don't let it hurt the event, all right? Go train with him, have fun. But don't let it hurt the event. Don't make it about Sam Hyde. That's what I would have said to you if I was I Dubs. Right, oh. and guess what? Like I would, I'd even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. If you don't know who Sam Hyde is, he's whether or not you love him or hate him, you have to recognize him as uh, he's the most talented comedian alive. He's the most talented comedian of our generation. He's gonna probably be the greatest comedian of all time. He's insanely. He's a genius. Um, I got a chance to go out there and train with him. He welcomed me into his environment. He paid people to train me. I would, I'd even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. Didn't you tell them that? I thought you no, told them no, that. Ian, you were... Ian, no, Ian requested it through text. He requested that I did that. What I didn't like, I didn't like that he requested that because that's not, I don't think that's appropriate. I was like. He didn't think it was appropriate. I do not think that that is appropriate. Do you think it's appropriate? that, uh, I don't know, a 30-something-year-old man is publicly calling my wife a whore and a slut. I think initially you can just buy the, you can buy that. Yeah. Yeah. And this has got a separate Etsy page where she sells her pussy. Yoko Ono was too concussed to fight in creator class for the second year in a row. Life is so easy for uh, a certain gender. All you have to do is say that my uterus hurts. What did she say this time? Her uterus hurts? Her I uterus fell she out? had another concussion. Probably your uterus fell out from getting blown out so much by uh, toys. Is that appropriate, Froggy? Do you think that's appropriate? I don't think that's appropriate. Okay, you don't think it's appropriate that I, I set boundaries. I don't think it's appropriate that you are hanging out with a guy who doesn't think women are people. Like, I don't think that's appropriate. I was like, I don't think you should be telling me when or when, or when I can't release content. Like, this is my career. It's what I do for but a living. But you complied with it, right? But, but I was going to anyways, but I didn't like people telling me that. I thought that was out of line. I don't know why he's saying that he was 
planning on waiting to post Sam Hyde content. We have the Twitter timeline of him nonstop posting Sam Hyde content. It's fucking weird. I don't know if he thought it was like a loophole to post on Twitter about Sam Hyde. So I think in his head, he was like, I, I was gonna wait to post Sam Hyde content, parentheses, YouTube video. Like, cause like, it's not my problem that you have personal, that you have personal beef with the greatest comedian in the world. If I go to Providence- How am I the simp? How am I the simp? I wanna know. Is it because it's a woman? It's because it's a woman, isn't it? It's okay to simp for a big gross dude. It's okay, it's understandable. He's big and he's gross. As, as soon as you simp for someone who's uh, literally your partner, your life partner, that's too much. That's kind of gay. If I go to Providence, Rhode Island and get an opportunity to, when I, to work with him, that should be my option to when I release that content. And it's got nothing to do with you. Not everything that people do with Sam Hyde involves iDubs. And I think that he misinterprets that. We're not talking about people. We're talking about what you do with Sam Hyde because you're in my event. I wish there were many layers of separation so I really could be that disconnected. Unfortunately, I have to be around you. You have to fight at my event. Uh, I have to share the same uh, space as you, you know, in the parties, at the event itself, and I don't want to do that. I have no interest in sharing that space with you. So for, for him to tell me, hey, could you wait until after the event to release that? In my mind, I'm thinking, I mean, I could, but it's weird for you to tell me to do that because it's got nothing to do with you. Another thing that contributed to Froggy getting kicked was that he tweeted at Nathan Barnett, aka Dad, he said, Dude, I tried hyping you up at Denny's when we ate dinner, and they said they weren't fucking with you and that you were going to lose to AB. They don't even like you. This is one of those things where it was like, oh, okay, so you basically don't have any good intentions here. You are just like, uh, you, don't li you don't like us. Like, I'm not here to play with people and give them warnings. Like, we're all adults on the card. I'm not gonna give you a warning. Actually, no, I will give you a warning if you, I think you have good intentions. The problem is when you tweet shit out like this and you have the text message exchange that Froggy had with me, I don't think you have good intentions. You're like trying to like ruin a relationship between me and one of my friends. Froggy deleted that tweet and I don't think he deleted it because he felt differently. I think he deleted it because uh, he knew that it could potentially get him kicked from the event and uh, would also make him look like an asshole. But he basically reiterated that same thing in a Twitter space. When I was at fucking Denny's, I was all like telling them, yo, dad's a fucking savage. And they're all like, no, no, dad doesn't, dad doesn't spar with high level fucking competition. He's going to lose to AB. And I'm thinking these Wait, motherfuckers are- Wait, so like, who like, said oh. that? Who said that? Ian and Anissa, like that's the way these motherfuckers are. And then they got dad like riding for them. They don't even, and it's like, I wouldn't be like this, but if everybody's gonna keep calling me out, like I'm the fucking person that's fucking fucking shit up. Like that dad's out here riding for them. They're all like, they don't even fucking give a fuck about him. And in the same Twitter space where Froggy says this, Sam Hyde, Froggy's hero, calls Nathan a rapist like several times. That Nathan Barnett guy, I guarantee you that guy would rape somebody if he had, if he had the opportunity. Yeah, legally, he would rape somebody in Minecraft, by the way. In, in Minecraft. Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> he, he, if he had the chance to rape a woman, he would. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. No, not in, no, not in Minecraft, Keem. I don't want anything to do with Sam. I don't want anything to do with people that think what Sam is doing is okay. It is not okay. Here's part of the Twitter space where Harley is uh, sort of questioning Tyler with why he wouldn't, uh, you know, respond to Anissa. And I think that's a very valid question because you ask any of our fighters and it's like, yeah, Anissa was the one who like solves problems. She is more communicative than me and she, she's better at communicating than I am. I fucking suck at this shit. Uh, so Anissa is the one, she is the one to talk to. How was I even supposed to know Ian and Anissa were mad when I get one call from Justin Tracy then a text message, I respond to it immediately, say, could you communicate through text or email? I'm training. And then nothing else. I don't, I What's didn't, the last I, text I still don't know. Anissa? Anissa. What's the last text you sent to Nisa? It was probably some group yeah, message. From okay, three but what was the last text you said to Anissa, just you two? I don't have one direct text from Anissa. Anissa's I have never a texted you. With, with an, and my wife and Anissa, there's a group oh, chat. Your wife I do not have any direct oh, I'm so sorry. Contact. Okay. 
Did anyone ever text you and your wife? What was the last thing Anissa sent you and your wife to you and your wife's phone? What was the last thing? Tense moments in the Twitter space as Froggy goes to see. It's, hey, Tyler, I'm not with Ian. I'm home visiting family. Ian called me not feeling great, and I'm just trying to understand what's happening or how I can help. What's the date? Sunday, March 12th. You don't want to, you don't want to respond to that? No, because oh, you don't know the oh, context so of that. You, you don't have the context. Arlie, let me give you the context. Off the Twitter account instead of responding to that very serious and Harley, sympathetic text you, I, that was nowhere near threatening or aggressive. Froggy wasn't able to give context for why he didn't respond to Anissa's call and text message uh, in the Twitter space. Uh, Harley ended up leaving. The conversation went elsewhere. So he uploaded a Twitter video to explain the context for why he didn't respond to Anissa. Anissa's last text, which was checking on me. Anissa's concern text of hope everything's going okay was a way for her to try to manipulate the situation to try to do further investigation into my friendship with Sam Hyde. That was not an are you okay text. That was a Ian is not able to break your shell. Maybe a vague concerned manipulative text from me will be able to. He thinks this text message is manipulation. No, Froggy, we wanted to solve the problem. Let me just say, Anissa is just trying to exist. You know, she doesn't want anything to do with the drama. She doesn't want anything to do with this shit. And I have brought a lot of it into her life. And I take responsibility for that. But unfortunately, a lot of people who uh, think that I've changed or call me a cuck or whatever, they, they've decided, in, instead of saying that I've changed and that I'm the, the decider of my future, it's that Anissa has changed me. So she has been the target of a lot of hate and I think it's really shitty. And hearing Tyler talk about her in this way is just a reminder where it's like, Anissa's trying to manipulate you? What the fuck was I doing? Was I trying to manipulate you as well? Like, you should probably come out and say that uh, because it, it seems really fucking sexist and, and creepy for you to be saying these things. You know what I feel? I'm gonna be honest with you. And I really, I really didn't buy none of this at the beginning until I, like, until I was living in it. I kept always hearing people saying like, Anissa ruined items, Anissa ruined items. And I was always like, nah, whatever, like they can work out their problems. And I was never buying into that bullshit. But I swear to God, when like, once you live an event, it's like, okay, I think Ian met the wrong person. I honestly think it's just like, I think sometimes you bond with the wrong person, it can take you to make the wrong decisions maybe. When I met my wife, I'm gonna be honest with you, like I met my wife, I got better the more time I spent with her because she like was honestly a better person than me. But I feel like Dude, honestly, it seems like so when Ian, is, as soon as he starts messing with Anissa, it's like Ian goes from the person who would be dogging people, who would sue people, to then like his event that he's running is suing people. It's like a complete flip. By the way, we weren't suing Froggy. Uh, we have no interest in going to court over $15,000. Uh, we wanted that $15,000 back, but, you know, he wasn't giving it to us. So we, we have to leave it at that. You know, we're not suing him. Froggy, if you're let back on, it's not like you're gonna make another OnlyFans joke about Denisa, right? Like, no, I mean, like, if they if they make me sign a contract that I can't, then I won't. You know, I I find it so strange because it's like, you know, that was a joke. That was a joke. Obviously, I wouldn't do any more OnlyFans. Just, joke, just... okay. I don't think Froggy respects sex workers. I think he has some really old, tired opinions about people who do sex work. I think he has uh, a lot of weird opinions as well about masculinity and shit. Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. A lot of it's not explicitly said, but when you listen to the jokes, it's like, oh, that that's actually just your opinion phrased in a comedic way. There was some type of nerd fight last year and Chris Raygun and all these people, it's like some big ethot worship and party at these things. And I don't get it. I don't get what all this shit is all about, but everybody's there to Worship me thoughts or fucking e thought or get or like touching e thoughts titty or pussy. Or, <laughs> it's always after that, and it's just like, what happens is people get all excited about it. And I think Chris Reagan was like, he probably thought he was gonna go there and beat some fucking nerd up, and be, and he was gonna win. Like I don't know if they're giving. I think they give away like OnlyFans with girls there at these <laughs> events. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sponsorships. But I'm, like if you win certain fights, I think you get to own some of these girls for some of the nights. <laughs> awesome. 
I don't know how it works, but I think Chris was like, like he had plans to go beat up a nerd and like, and like whatever, however, whatever they get to like lease one of these girls, and um, so like he got there. Well, Ian was probably thinking like, because I think I think um, man, I need to just stop all, all this probably. No, Froggy, keep going. I think you should keep going. I think the women of the world need to hear your opinions on these things. Talk more about how uh, uh, sex workers are property. That's a funny joke. It was, it was super funny the third time that you referred to women as property. That was the, that was the funniest one. Because when you said lease, I was like, yeah, I know what a lease is. Even if you didn't do any of the Sam Hyde stuff, why would we want you at our event? Like, if you're just going to blatantly disrespect sex workers and women and, and other fighters saying that they're here to, to touch e-thoughts, like, it is so disrespectful and shitty. I don't want to share the space with you. I, I don't want other people to be uncomfortable because you're there. Like, you, you don't get the vibe, all right? The vibe is sex workers and fighting, I guess and you don't like the sex workers part. I don't think Froggy is doing Sam Hyde's dirty work by, uh, you know, shit-talking Anissa. I think it's just pretty clear that he holds similar opinions to Sam Hyde and similar opinions to Sam Hyde fans, which is like, you're just gonna repeat the shit that, you're, that your hero is saying. You have to ditch Yoko Ono. Drop Yoko Ono, bro. It's gotta be over. <laughs> it's gotta be over. And leave the girl, ditch the girl. I think Ian met the wrong person I honestly think it's just like, I think sometimes you bond with the wrong person, it can take you to make the wrong decisions. She's probably a succubus that's like sucking the life out of him. Sad to see you didn't make the card again. When will iDubs break free from that succubus that is holding him back? Ian's masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. Anissa's concern text of hope everything's going okay was a way for her to try to manipulate the situation. I think initially you can just buy the, you can buy that. Yeah. I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. It goes directly into charity. Yeah. Her anal bead package came out, and it's it was a hundred dollars for to look at pictures of her with anal beads. I think they give away like OnlyFans with girls there. Like you get to own some of these girls. They get to like lease one of these girls. So Ian really embarrassed himself. And so he didn't want Sam at his event because Ian doesn't want people who are bigger and more talented than him upstaging him. That's what it is. Tyler is like repeating all of these narratives about how uh, I've changed for the worst. Uh, the person responsible for my, uh, my change in a bad way is Anissa. Anissa is a, a manipulative person. Oh yeah, that I, I'm like concerned about getting upstaged by Sam or people who are more talented than me which is insane to me because I've put on this event twice, me as the, uh, the main fight, and I've lost both times. That's pretty upstaged. As a side note, uh, Sam Hyde has made it a habit to uh, try to sound like a reasonable person by saying, if Ian and Anissa just asked, I'll, I'll stop harassing them. Yeah, if Ian ever hit me up and was like, hey man, I just can you leave me alone? I would just, I'd, fuck it, I would stop talking about him. Whatever, I don't care that much. If you ask me to stop, I'll stop. Like uh, which on its face is already an insane thing to say. Of course, no one wants to be harassed. If they let Froggy back on the card, I'll sh I won't. I won't tweet at Ian or uh, Anissa ever again. I'll fucking. I'll shut up forever. How about that? Okay. I get to bring back someone on the card who doesn't respect me, my wife, other fighters, and in return, I have the chance of not being harassed by Sam Hyde. Oh man, how can I refuse that? Just so we're on the same page in case I have to make a future video, you heard what Sam Hyde said. If he's a respectable guy, he's not going to continue to harass me because he says, by his own admission, he doesn't care that much. I don't care that much. This is my request. I would like you to not harass me or my wife or uh, anyone that we're friends with. Also, harassment encompasses all the little loopholes, all right? You can't just then like refer to me as a goblin and be like, I didn't say his name. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about a goblin. Uh, that's, not, that's not acceptable. Another thing I want to make clear is that the decision to kick Froggy from the card isn't just for like me and Anissa's comfort. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't want anything to do with Sam Hyde who are fighting on our card. There are a lot of people who are our fans who want nothing to do with Sam Hyde. So we're trying to protect them, we're trying to protect the environment that we're in, and we want it to be comfortable for everyone. I truly believe if we had Froggy participate through the rest of the event, 
it would have made the event worse, like noticeably worse, because we are all trying to work together to make the show as good as possible. And I think if Froggy doesn't fuck with what we got going on, he was gonna make it difficult. One way or another, it was gonna be difficult. In closing, uh, I wanna say that Creator Clash is probably the single best thing that I've ever done in my life. Uh, it has you know, brought so much joy to me and Anissa. It has brought the most awesome people that I've ever met. It's brought them into my life and I'm super grateful and I wanna keep doing it. And this event means so much to me and I'm gonna protect it. And I'm gonna protect the fighters and the people involved in, in the event. And uh, you know, I'm not, when it comes to people wanting to fuck around and uh, mess with the vibes, uh, I'm not gonna tolerate it. You know, you're gonna get kicked from the card if you're being a piece of shit and uh, if you're not communicating and if you're not cooperating. And uh, I want nothing new with Sam Hyde as well. So uh, fuck that guy and uh, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I paid money, I'm on the floor seats, and I see like some shenanigans going down. I take a photo of it, it's just people holding up a sign. It said Froggy did nothing wrong. Like S Seemingly innocuous. Yeah, right, right, right. I go to this like after event and Anissa comes up to me. She comes up and says, that tweet was really not cool and I just apologize. I felt kind of like a bitch. I was like, why the fuck did I apologize? Masculinity had been completely removed via Anissa. 